Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from Salads and Sandwiches of 1917, we're going to be making the potato cabbage sandwich. Naturally enough, we start off with boiled potato, to which we add chopped cabbage, chopped onion, and there were no amounts given in this recipe, so <laughs> maybe take back some of that onion. And last but not least, mayonnaise. Doesn't say how much. On the plus side, it does say we can add salt and pepper. And we put that mixture onto bread. Okay, let's give this cabbage and potato sandwich a go. It's like a really bare bones coleslaw sandwich. <laughs> I mean, the flavors of onion and cabbage and potato, salt and pepper and mayonnaise, they go well together, but I think we can plus this up a little. First thing I'm gonna do is add some English farmhouse cheddar. Now I'm gonna put it onto the broiler. Because I want a little brightness, a little Dijon mustard. Okay, let's give this cabbage potato sandwich plussed up with a little uh, English farmhouse cheddar melted under the broiler and Dijon mustard a go. Now you've got this nice, rich, melted cheese working really well with the potatoes, the cabbage, and the onion. And then you get that nice sharpness of the Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. Oh, what can you say about the cabbage and potato sandwich uh, from 1917? Um, it probably should have been diced up even smaller, probably minced, uh, to make it a little bit easier to handle. But, you know, the flavors weren't bad. It was kind of like a very bare bones coleslaw, onion, cabbage, salt, pepper, uh, and then of course the mayonnaise. I would probably give that a four. That wasn't really great. It wasn't even middle of the road. It was just kind of eh. Plus up with the farmhouse cheddar melted under the broiler and the Dijon mustard. I think that's more like a six, six and a half. That is actually quite tasty. Uh, definitely gonna finish that. Don't think I'll ever make this again, but I'll finish it. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.